People have been pushing for a change in an intersection in Assumption since a deadly wreck in 2022. After another crash last night, some in the community are wondering what's taking so long. WCI 3's Will Simmons explains. The intersection of Route 51 and Leafland Street in Assumption has long been known to be dangerous. Mike Sloan helps mow his parents' lawn right down the street. The main thing is look both ways twice. You know, while you're going, you can still be looking back and forth. So I think it's just being uh, you know, vigilant of what's around you. Sometimes that is not enough. In 2022, two Central A&M high school students were killed in a crash at the intersection in the early morning hours. This week on Wednesday night, a woman from Terre Haute and two children were taken to the hospital seriously hurt after another wreck. I don't know what the solution would be, but I know something needs to be done that we seem to be having a lot of problems with that intersection. Andrea Royer has been waiting on more improvements from IDOT. So far, they've added a blinking light, larger signs, and repainted roads. They say they'll do it. They're going to put a J-turn, but it's not been done yet. You can say it, you know, that you're going to do it, but they've got to do it. And I think last night's wreck is another reason to do something. A J-turn, also known as an R-cut, has been shown to decrease right-angle accidents on two-lane highways. It reroutes left turn and through vehicles from the side road. IDOT officials say they have done a road safety study of the intersection and major improvements take time. It's just part of the process. We said we would have a public meeting this spring and that's what we will do. Um, it'll probably be in May, but that's not definite at this point. For many in Assumption, that process hasn't been fast enough. And that's scary. You, you get nervous. And then I've got people that I'm, you know, wanting to make sure they're okay because uh, I have kids. And, of course, I have people messaging me making sure I'm okay. And that's like that every time they get a call and they're like, oh, another one out there on 51. Reporting in Assumption, Will Simmons, WCI3, your local news leader. Now, when the public meeting does happen, community members will discuss options for the intersection on top of a J-turn setup. People have suggested a stoplight or even shutting down Leafland Street until permanent solutions are put into place.